doing this, I'm going to do video on this one soon. All right, so uh, the wind didn't seem to bother you. You just went from start to finish. Just talk about your race. Um, honestly, I actually saw my aunt in the crowd, and it just kind of clicked because she ran in um, college, and, and so I was just thinking, you know, if I use this like a runner would use a hill, um, just kind of go fast on the up and just keep it easy on the down and it seemed to work out really well and I think I helped the next heat behind me so that was good. <laughs> but I just tried to swim fast against the wind and then kind of uh, preserve my energy on the way back when I was swimming. So did it, it, it really not bother you that much then? Oh no it hurt. It was very painful. <laughs> I definitely felt it. Um, and I remember thinking on the, the last wall I, I turned and I saw the rest of the group was a little bit behind and it almost scared me. Um, thinking that maybe I had used up too much energy, uh, so I just tried to hold on on the way home, and it turned out for the best. So how, how encouraging is it to swim that time and have that kind of race in these conditions? It's a, it's a great mental um, reward, for sure. Uh, it's definitely nice to have a fast swim like that this part of the season. Um, it gives a lot of confidence going to Olympic trials, and it's good knowing that you can overcome um, the natural happenings around you. So you were super thrilled with yesterday, so to do that tonight... Yeah, it was good. Um, I mean, I think it's just really important for all the swimmers to remember that if one race goes bad, it doesn't affect the rest of the meet. You can swim fast no matter what. Growing up in Mesa, did you encounter winds like this a lot, or...? Not too much that I can remember. Oh. Um, but I mean, I feel like every other year or so at the Mesa Pro Swim, um, it's been a bit, a bit windy. <laughs> Feels like one day out of the meet, yeah. or something happens like this. It happens to be during backstroke meet, so I kind of feel bad for that a little bit. <laughs> All right, thank you.